stop what you're doing now. Just put your pens down. Hi everyone, we've come over here. We are here from Wigan Athletic. I'm Gary Colwell. This is the chairman, David Sharp. You're probably wondering why the cameras are here. But it's a special day because Joe Kilmins, wherever he is, can you come up? Joe has been picked out. He's going to play in a match at the stadium. So this is your strip you're going to need. And he's got a season ticket season for the season. We'll try and win some more games for the next season. And Joe. Having a round of applause. Yay. Joe, this is all a bit strange for you, isn't it? Yeah, this is this is really weird, definitely. I wasn't expecting this when I walked into class. What a surprise. I mean, this morning you got up thinking you were just coming in for a mock exam. Yeah, I've had, I had a couple of exams today and then this was such a surprise to stop the exam for it. And you're a massive Lattice fan, so to see Gary Calder and David Sharp taking the time out to come and, oh, and visit you must be amazing. It, it was amazing. It was really, it's really per it feels really personal because obviously they've come just for me. To give, to give the, this, it's really good. And not just giving you your season card the, the day after you renewed it, but also a shirt to play in a, a match on the pitch on Saturday as well. To play in the game, it's going to be a great experience. Can't wait for it. It's something you must have, have always dreamed of playing on the DW. Yeah, playing on the DW is something I've always dreamed about, but I've never seen a way I'd like to do it before. It's just something I've always dreamed about doing. David, you've done some new things since you've been chairman, but I guess this is, is there on the strangest on your list. Yeah, I didn't think I'd be sat in a physics classroom as a two months into my role, but um, you've got to, when you're surprising the fans with something like we've done today, you've, you've got to go anywhere, whether it be classrooms or, or the stadium. So no, and it was, it was a great surprise for Joe and I've told him we'll, we'll try and get some more winners next season. And if he fails his A-levels because of us today, then I'll try and give him some winners next season to make up for it. You've come here and, and it's your new era, Gary's new era, and you want to make lasting impressions on people. And I think you might have done that today. I hope so. I hope so, and it's 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 good to surprise a fan after after a long hard season we've just had, and the free home wins wasn't wasn't what they deserved, and I've said I'm embarrassed. They're probably embarrassed as well to, for the football club. So um, it's good to surprise them and, and give them something back because they deserve it, and especially the young ones. They've 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 stuck with us, and and the old ones through thick and thin, and. It's, it's something that we need. We need a good fan base next season if we're going to get promoted because there's nothing worse than seeing empty seats everywhere. So, so if we can get a good core fan base and get the young ones in and get the older generation in, it's, it's, it's going to be good for the football club.